Okay, right now I'm going to review uh, Mr. Franta's mixtape graphing review. To start off with, let's look at the problem. Mr. Franta spends his weekend moonlighting, making mixtapes, dissing his favorite rappers. As bad as he is at rapping, he gets a good deal of downloads or streams each week. Mr. Franta is trying to figure out which service he gets the most streams from so he can brag about it to all his coworkers. Create a graph to represent this data. So let's look. On Spotify, during the first week, he got 200 streams from Spotify. Using YouTube, he got 180 streams. At Apple Music, he got 140 streams. The following week on Spotify, 75 streams. YouTube was down to 50. And then Apple Music was down just a little at 125. So let's go over a couple quick questions. What type of graph would he use to display this information? Now remember, there's a couple different types, pie, line, scatter plot, histogram, and bar. Now since we are comparing two different variables of the same type, in this instance, we're comparing week one and week two of Spotify, week one, week two of YouTube, and week one, week two of Apple Music, we're gonna end up using a bar graph because we're comparing stuff. Again, how do we know? Because we're comparing two variables of the same type. Okay, next thing. I want you to remember dry mix. And it was kind of thing like, what, what am I talking about? Easiest way to remember is dry mix is almost like pancake mix. And this is going to help us remember where to put the information on a graph. So over here, if you think of one axis and two axis, if I had a t-shirt and I want to keep it up to, or hang it up to dry, because that's what, I'm going to hang it up. So I think of just a t-shirt hanging up to dry. And that's how I remember this axis. If I have pancake mix, I don't want to make pancakes on a wall. I want to make them flat. So that's going to be the flat surface for the mix. So that's how I get the X and then Y for dry. Then let's come back to the dry mix. D, R, Y. So dependent, R for results or responding. and y-axis. You might have learned different words for these, but that's the easiest way I remember it. And then mix, if you remember independent, or the one that I'm changing, and then x-axis, also known as the one that you are manipulating. So if you remember, pancakes are flat, and then the shirt on the hanging up to dry. That'll get you those two lines and remember that. So remember dry mix. Back to this. Which variable goes on the y-axis? So if you come back and you can remember this, dry for up, it's going to be the um, dependent variable. How do I know? From dry mix. What variable goes on the x-axis? That's going to be the independent. How do I know? Because if I can remember dry mix, the pancake mix. How do you calculate the units you need to calculate a graph? Okay, so this is going to be the total number that I have, so the biggest number, divided by the total number of spots. So here, I want to go through my data and look for what is the biggest number. So here, I have 200, 180, 140, 75, 50, 125. So overall, looking at those, the biggest number is going to be 200. So I'm going to put 200 over here. Then I'm going to go down to my graph on this side. I'm going to flip over. 
And because I know that I have to put that on the dependent side, that's going to be going up. I know this is a little hard, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I get 22 spots. So when I do the math, 200 divided by 220, sorry, it's going to be a per, about 9.9. .9. So I'm going to round up to the nearest nice number, whole number, and that's going to get me 10. Now I need to graph the information on this. So, things that I want to make sure I have on my graph. Things to remember. I want to have a title. I want to label my Y and X axis. I want to have my units. I want a key. Something that describes, or descriptors, description and scale proportions. So, there's a couple different ideas on what title, depending on what teacher, they might tell you one thing versus another. Usually it's easy just to do dependent versus independent. So for here, we're doing number of downloads versus download service. Sorry, number of streams versus service. Okay. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see on this. I'm going to draw my, draw my two axes. So going across is going to be the independent variable. So that is going to be the streaming service. And I'm labeling that axis. On this side, it's going to be the dependent, so the number of streams. Now, remember I said that I have 22 spots going up here, and my biggest number is 20. So I'm going to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I do not need to mark every line, but as long as it can be understood that the slash marks between here go up by 10, you can do that. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then I'm going to be at 220, okay? Next, I want to put my three streaming services. So if I go back to my data, I have Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. I'm going to put Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music. Now, looking at the data, Spotify the first week was 200 streams. So make a mark. Go all the way up, graph 200. And I want to label that week one. Then I need to mark week two. So week two, I only had 75 downloads. So that's going to be a lot smaller. So I'm going to start off at 50, 10, 20, so that 70. And then in the middle, is going to be 75. So I'm going to go over. week two. Next, I have YouTube. First week was 180. So I go up, and I can go up to 200 here, count 10, 20 down, and kind of meet up. Sometimes if you're taking the quiz or test, it does help to have a straight edge or ruler with you. And I'm going to mark that week one. Week two for YouTube was 50. So I can just go start at 50, come on over. And 
And then Apple Music, week one was 140. Make out the 150, count 10 down, and I go across. And I'll make my graph. Week two was 125. Start at 100, go up 10, 20, then five up. Come on over. Again, I'm gonna label week one, week two. Now, I'm gonna also just scribble in, lightly shading the week ones compared to week twos, so I can understand which one is which. And then I'm in my key, I'll draw a little box with shade, and I'm going to note that that's week one, and open is going to be week two. If I had a little more time, I could also shade different colors um, like these for the different services, but I think it's kind of known that Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Music. You know, I might just draw a little box around that to show it. So let's look, I have my table, or sorry, title, title's up here. I've labeled my X and Y axis. X and Y. I have my units. So it's clearly going up. And I said number of streams. And that's noted. I have a key here. A description. So I can also just say this graph shows the number of, sorry, streams per week with three download services or streaming services. You're not always gonna put that down there, but it gives you a little description. Also, the description can also be with the title. And I'm also at the scale proportion right up. So this will be posted online too. If you have any questions, please let us know.